Hey y'all, Tracy with Trials of a Long Haired Girl here. Oh, wait, I forgot my bowl. Well, we'll go through ingredients first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these up. Um, although, to be quite honest, not all of this is gonna go in my breakfast casserole. My sweet husband has cut up for me some purple onion. I will not use all of this in the breakfast casserole either. Um, I'm also going to pick up some ground beef that we got on clearance. Um, okay, I'm going to make a breakfast casserole, like a Denver-inspired omelet um, breakfast casserole. I did not get my cheese out yet, but I will show you what I'm using um, when I get ready to put it on. Um, I'm going to use a dozen happy eggs. I will use about half of the diced ham, about half of this package of the simple simply potatoes. Okay, I have cracked all my eggs. I've cut all of my bell pepper. Um, I put some away for a later dish. Um, okay, I am just going to use about two tablespoons of the cashew milk oh. or a little more than that not enough really to add points since this is 12 eggs yet another reason I tend to do this with a fork okay um, I'm going to go ahead Add. My tear here was in the wrong spot. Okay. Slightly over four ounces, but I'm okay with that. Potatoes. This is a 20 ounce bag, so I would use about 10 ounces. already sprayed my pan. With some avocado oil. Yep. We're still getting a four. So I have got some pieces of ham that are not breaking. Up. Okay. But you know what they say. Breaking up is hard to do. Um, okay, and goes on my bell pepper and my onion. So I have all kinds of colors in here. Kind of one of my focuses this week is to um, try to add some fruits or vegetables with every meal. to put this in the oven for about 50 minutes. Okay, y'all, it actually took less time than anticipated. And I think it's actually very pretty. So I am going to cut this in I'll probably cut it into eight servings. I may cut it into a little more than that um, because probably my husband, my son, and I will all eat it. 
Um, one thing that I did forget to mention, and I actually forgot to do it, and had to pull it back out. Um, I did not season it, so I pulled it back out before, like right after I put it in the oven. Added a little salt, a little pepper, and a little garlic powder to it to kind of give it some other flavor. Um, I really, this is very pretty, and I'm excited to eat it. Um, but yeah, probably I will have it. I may have it with a piece of toast. I may, you know, I may just eat it just like this. It kind of depends on how hungry I am when I have it. So, but if y'all try to help you enjoy, my breakfast casserole has got to be one of my favorite things because it's easy. It's so versatile. You can do so many different things with it. Um, this is my Denver omelet inspired breakfast casserole. And it always seems to be a big hit with my family. Um, I like it because I like, you know, I like a Denver omelet on occasion. So I'm excited to try this. I hope you enjoy it if you try it. Have a great day.